What's up, it's Ethan. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the thrift, which is after a day of skating, which you guys will see after I show you guys what I got. I'm gonna start off with this bag. I'm gonna go from light to the hype, you know. First off, I got this Staple Pigeon Basketball Skeleton T-shirt, and the design it showcases a Bulls 23 jersey, so it might be LeBron James as a mini staple print on the sleeve. Yeah, it's pretty cool and surprising to find Staple at the thrift. For those who aren't aware, it is a streetwear brand. They had pretty popular dunk collabs with Nike. Oh yeah, and the shirt, I believe it was like three bucks. I guess I took off all the price tags, but the next thing that I got is this North Face jacket. This one was probably like eight to ten bucks. Honestly, this one felt more like an impulse buy, but I was like, why not? You know, since it was very cheap, very good condition as well. It's light blue and has gray. And you know, North Face is pretty expensive, so I thought it was totally worth it. Okay, so this one is a pretty crazy find. I'm not too familiar with this brand, but this brand is called Tokidoki. I believe it's kind of similar to Sanrio, you know, the whole Hello Kitty franchise. That's why it kind of looks like those cute anime character drawings, you know? But yeah, this is like the all over print jacket. Got the print all over the back. And I believe this is pretty rare because it's the New York Comic Con 2018 exclusive. I believe this one was around 10, 15 bucks, which might be a little steep when it comes to thrift store Goodwill prices, but for its value, definitely worth it. Yo, the main point of this video is in my hands right now. And I actually got all this stuff about a month ago and I still trip out that I actually got this camera. It's pretty funny because I was just filming for tiktok to see what i find at the thrift store and i was just like oh look at this gucci hat like is it real is it fake and next thing you know i see this camera next to it and i didn't really think anything of it until i was at the register checking out i was like wait may i actually take a look at that camera when i actually held it in my hands and read itachi high eight i was like yo no freaking way and it was ten dollars and at that second i was like yo i got a cop whether it works or not i think to many this camera doesn't mean anything to them but me having a skate knowledge skate culture your background i was like yo this is almost like a historical piece to skateboarding culture you know there's like the high eight the vx 1000 the panasonics and i'm not too familiar when it comes to the older cameras but i'm pretty positive this camera is vintage and i'm sure a lot of the skaters did use a high eight back in the 80s 90s to film skate videos if you guys know popular skate filmer bill strobeck i'm pretty sure in an interview on the nine club or the bunt he did say that he started off filming with the high eight or some sort of eight millimeter camera and i was doing some research on the slap i read that nobody's alleys videos by lurk nyc was filmed on a high eight and i also read that a lot of john Miner's old videos were filmed on a high eight if you guys don't know who he is he filmed a lot of the america videos do i plan on using it i don't think so it would be cool if i could get it to work i'm pretty sure i would need to get tapes because this camera runs on tapes and i think i would just need to get a charger for the battery according to the goodwill employees they told me that all the cameras that they sell has to work and either way if it doesn't work i don't care because i just wanted it as a prop can't go wrong it was only ten dollars the thrift store actually had other pretty decent items as well there was this floral cardigan collar type of shirt i passed on it though i've been really into cardigans i saw this camel print looking one i would have copped if it was my size and i found a thrasher coach jacket as well i used to always want this jacket but i ended up passing it up i've always just felt uneasy and uncomfortable with having a straightforward pentagram on my clothing but yeah those are my cops i post a lot more on tiktok if you guys want to go check out more but yeah I guess let's get to skating. So I ended up coming to this little transition spot. I haven't been here in a couple years. Hope to learn at least one new trick. The spot also has a bump to rail and a bump to ledge. That rail is pretty gnarly. They didn't have this here last time, but I noticed that they put like cement to make it easier for people to wall ride. First tee. What are we trying to do? Damn.
So earlier, I went to Franks and Sons with the homie Josue. You know, saw the homie Ronald McDonald. Originally wanted to buy these Pokemon cards to put on the back of my phone case, like in the phone case. But instead of spending money on just one card, I was like, why not just buy a booster pack and see what I get? And then I actually bought this one a long time ago and I forgot that I got them. So just see what we get. I'm gonna start off with the brilliant stars. For those that don't know, I post on TikTok more. I film for TikTok and YouTube at the same time. If it's like a video, I can't repeat. Like I'm not gonna fake an unboxing, you know? I'll be looking at the camera. Hey. Yo! Yo, I don't know if this is rare. I feel like whenever there's like a trainer with Pokemon, that thing's rare. This one is the Space Juggler. I have no clue what it is in English. I got this. If I don't get a good card in this one, I'm gonna be bummed. Instead of getting a Penasaur or VMAX, I ended up getting two of these booster packs. Oh! I got a Re oh, I got a Reggie Gigas. Yeah. It's holographic. So I got this board at a local shop. They restocked out of nowhere. Just one. I was like, if they're sitting on it for two hours, I'll actually go and get it. And they still were. So I was like, dude, I'm gonna go find another one. I got the glow in the dark and the hollow foil now because I was able to get two. I filmed both of them on TikTok. I guess now I just want to try to get the gold foil. So which one do you think I got? Gold foil, bro. Manifesting it. Yeah. Oh, bro. Hollow foil deck. You know what they say when you get the same thing twice and you pay 100 bucks for each one? You say, oh man's, bruh. So it's been a few weeks since I skated the curbs with the homie Josue, and on that day, I was trying to do a slappy kickflip out, but the cops rolled up and they kicked us out. So tonight, I want to go do a slappy kickflip out. So that was harder and it took a lot longer than I expected. I thought it'd be a little bit easier just because it was on a different curve, but nah. It was just as chunky and a lot of times I tried kick flipping out, I would just get stuck. So I'm actually surprised on how clean it was. I was just gonna take anything just because the sticks weren't looking too well. And I thought it'd be so dope if I could just do this new trick to end the video, you know? So I'm hyped on the new trick because I've been wanting to do this for a while. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, that always helps. Thanks, yo, peace out. No, I was gonna say you're gonna stench it because now when people ask like hey, when you sell a shirt They're like is the smoke free? Someone's like the cards dope, but is the smoke free? And they're like yeah, what you fucking think? Dude, you're smoking dick for asking that